Well, it was the second time India had chased 350 in this series. We had seen some wonderful batting between India and Australia. Welcome to high-definition highlights of the decider in Bangalore. So it was a seven-game series. We lost a couple to the weather. Australia won the first game by 72 runs. India leveled things up in game two before Australia went ahead. James Faulkner leading them to a fantastic win in Mahali. But then a brilliant innings from Virat Kohli levelled the series in Nagpur. So 2-2 with one to go. Well, bats had really dominated ball in the series. Would that continue today? Well, the sun was out. It was a flat pitch, short boundaries, so every chance. Uh, Australia won the toss and they decided to bowl. What on earth would you post batting first to be sure of victory? The Aussies made one change. Mitchell Johnson flew home to prepare for the Ashes, so in came Nathan Coulton Isle. One change also for India. Out went the leggy. Mishra, in came Vinay Kumar. India to bat. And off the mark. We'll get there eventually, so keep the scoring down to two. We'll clear the man inside the uh, circle for four. And there goes well inside, almost in a catching position. So he's already he's trusting this pitch to play that shot. Down the ground for four. I think he tried to overcompensate here. Oh, great shot. The earlier one might have come off the toe of the bat. Everything right about this one, including the length of the ball that uh, Makai delivered to him. He's in good form now. I think that outswinger to the right-hander, he's struggling against the left-hander. He's bowling it exactly where Shikhar Dhawan wants him to. Oh, great shot. Wow, it's delectable the way he's picked that off his hips. No, one side. Very easily done by Shikhar Dhawan, who's on fire here. 29 from 18, it's 45 for no loss after six overs. Shot. Oh, we're seeing some good shots here already. And that's as good as any you will see. 50 in the seventh over. That's a good shot. That's pitched further up. And it's gone way back into the crowd. Well, he's in terrific touch, Rohit Sharma. Great shot to end the over. Eight of it, 60 for no loss. Well, this is a magnificent shot. Not all that wrong a delivery. He's just on a very good wicket decided, you know what, I've had enough of this. I'm going to put a little pressure on you and just throw the hands over it. Expecting a big one. Gets the single. And uh, yet another half century there for Shikha Dhawan. Of just 43 balls. And the crowd's loving it. He's scoring it more than a run of ball. Uh, he's uh, just taking uh, off from uh, Nagpur, so to speak. Big shout is giving him out. First wicket of the series. Trying to work the ball away to the onside, missing it. And Doherty has got Shikhar Dhawan out, leg before wicket. Well, the stoppage play hasn't helped India. He was looking very fluent just before the break of 28 minutes. There's a pitch in line, yes it does. Just a bit of turn and he was gone. He was plumb in front. Bit of drift. Pitches in line, a him to turn with a hit middle, middle and leg. And a good call from the umpire. Dalti picks up his first cricket in this one day series. Shikadavid cannot believe it. He's gone for 60 and they're 112 for one. There it is. Off the mark, he's pretty quick. Oh, 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 oh. He's out, run out. Yes and no situation. He wanted the single. Rohit Sharma slipped. And so, Virat Kohli finds himself well short of the crease. Out for a duck. Run out a duck. It's a big blow. 
It's a massive blow and the crowd can't believe it. Down the ground, he calls for a single and uh, Rohit Sharma was turning around looking at the fielder. And Kohli had no chance at all. And he's gone, disappointed. He's gone for a duck. It's 113 for two. That's a good delivery. Coming back into Rohit Sharma. That'll bring up his 50. A very well made 50. He's been very consistent in this series. He's got a lot of work to do though. That's nicely typed. Really made a nice noise leaving the bat. And it's four all the way. That'll give him a lot of confidence. It's a very good cricketing shot. It's a shot under control and a boundary after nine overs. Shot! Has he got enough on this? Oh, yes, he has. That's gone way into the second tier. And it's gone the distance. The new Glenn Maxwell is the weak link. Rohit Sharma has put him into the stands. Very good use of the feet. His bounce in this pitch, and it goes the distance, 96 meters. Good batting. A single to follow the boundary. Nicely glided away. What a nice touch from Ryder. That's the perfect riposte to the short stuff. 150 up for India. That's deliberately played. The field was the slip had been taken out, put to short mid wicket. And he just uses the length so very well. Oh, he's lofted him straight. That's a fabulous looking stroke, and it's six. He's just put his feet on the accelerator, Rohit Sharma. There was a lull period in between after the loss of Virat Kohli. But both Raina and Sharma are turning it on now. It's a good shot. It's gone wider this time. And it's the same result. It's another six. And it's the 50 partnership between Rohit Sharma and Suresh Raina. It's even a better shot. This time over mid on. The previous one was a lot straighter. It's not an easy shot to a left arm spinner. And uh, George Bailey just changing these fielding configurations here as well. There's no one back on the deep cover point here. Now I hope there's not a problem here with Watson. He said something to George Bailey there now. He ran up and obviously didn't feel he could let the ball go. And there was just a little word there to his skipper. And a shake of the head. I hope he's OK. Shane Watson doesn't look happy at all at the end of his run-up. Hands on hips. And I just wonder there's a problem here with Watson. There really is. He's not going to be able to, to continue here, Watson. Have a look here. Something's gone here. Maybe a muscle pull. He couldn't, he started to load up and you can see the grimace on his face and Watson's leaving the field. That is a huge blow for Australia. There's a shake of the head, he said to his captain immediately, I can't continue. And that is a massive blow for the Australians. Goes again, fancies another place in the stands and he finds it. Well, Rohit Sharma's got the markers set now. His fifth six. He didn't hit the middle of the bat, but it still has gone the distance. Using his feet, you knew, you knew it was coming. Just hitting the toe of the bat, but it's the extension of the arm. This time over mid-wicket. And the same result. Well, he's taking Maxwell on, and very rightly so. Two sixes in the previous over, and a couple more this over. He quickly moves on to 84, gets to the pitch, hits it on the bounce, and over the mid-wicket fielder. Big appeal once again, up goes the finger. Nigel Long has given it. And Suresh Raina isn't happy, waited for a while before leaving. 
was the quicker delivery at 89 k's. Let's see if he got a bit of inside edge. Yes, it uh, has to be an inside edge. Otherwise, you know, you can see how even uh, Shikhar Dhawan was out. Yeah, that hits the pad first. So, good decision. Have a look here. It pitches outside, straightens, and that would have hit metal stump. Now, this is a carbon copy of Shikhar Dhawan's dismissal. So, Doherty dismisses both the left-handers. And that wicket coming at the right time for the Australians. That partnership was looking dangerous. Reiner goes for 28. It's 185 for three. It's a miscue. And in the end, he'll be safe. It's gone a long, long way. Hasn't come from the middle of the bat. And it's gone the distance. This might just be the trigger. That will uh, get Yuvraj Singh going. Excellent, deft touch, played it very late. We can get a boundary. A 200 comes up for India. Excellent taken. What a catch. Unbelievable catch this. It was travelling so very quickly. And Brad Haddon pulls out a beauty. Well, that's the length. And to Yuvraj Singh again, making him drive, but he'll be disappointed. He's just getting his eye in, uh, beginning to uh, play fluently. And this is a superb catch. This ball was travelling, there's no one at slips. That's a great grab with that left hand of his. And that wicket again coming uh, just before power play, so at the right time for the Australians. Yuvraj Singh departs for 12. It's 207 for four. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, two great things about that. One, he's bowled that ball to a batsman who's batting 96. Brad Haddon's wondering why no one appealed. Because he thinks there was something there. Well, the second, second thing about that was it's a magnificent take to his left. Comes in quite significantly off the seam and starts to swing that direction as well. Once again, magnificent footwork. Gee, he's good, isn't he, Brad Haddon? Well, he goes through with the shot. Doesn't time it too well, but that's good enough for, for him to get to his 100. Well played, Roy Sharma. He's second in the series. And further confirmation that he's cementing his place at the top of the order. Good to see the smile from uh, Virat Kohli. Well played. The crowd's going absolutely bozo here. They're loving this performance, particularly noisy. And they've witnessed once again something really special here. Well, he's just pinned the ears back here. What a magnificent stroke. Straight over the top of extra cover. His seventh six of the innings. One can't help but think he's just starting to warm up. Well, I think there's a part of him that said, I need to, because 22 balls in the power play had produced nine runs. But it's, it's, a, it's a shot you would have seen 10, 15 years ago. I don't think he's timed that, but he's hit it where he wants to. He's opening up now. Now that is well timed. The previous one not quite so, but this one a feast to watch. All right, here's another one. It's found the fielder. No, well, well, well. He's, he's compounded that as Moses Enriquez by tipping it over the bar. He's a good fielder, Enriquez. I've seen him pull off some really good ones. But on the boundary, he's a tall man, everything right for him, except this, as you'll watch. Well, he's hit it crisply as well. But you'd put your house on Moses and Reeking taking this nine out of ten times. Oh, that's huge. You could just tell from the sound the moment it left bat, it was headed only one place. Six number nine for Rohit Sharma. 
driven beautifully through the covers. He's picked his spot to perfection. Tony pulls. One bounce over the rope. Pulls again. This time, the placement is once again excellent from Dhoni. This was much more controlled. It's picked away on the onside, and he finds the man in the deep. No, put down. It was always difficult. It was a good attempt from Maxwell, because the ball was coming to him flat and dipping on him. And a tough chance goes to ground. Yes, it was difficult to have picked it against the background of the crowd, but he did remarkably well. Glenn Maxwell did. And did he get it? Yes, he almost got to it, but wasn't able to latch onto it, wasn't able to hold on to it. So Rohit Sharma on strike. Swings and finds the boundary. Square leg had come up into the circle. And he does that, finds the gap on the offside, giving himself room, brings up the 150. And this is turning out to be a fabulous knock from Rohit Sharma. Teammates on their feet. Well, it's a very noisy crowd. If there was a sound, I think only Mackay heard it. He was confident, definitely heard something. It was a slower delivery. He uh, was looking to hit it over extra cover. There it is, uh, the slow off spinner. And there was just a little bit of a nick or some sort of a sound. But uh, we have a big crowd here today. Oh, that's picked away on the onside. Deep square leg can only be a spectator. So the ball sails into the crowd. Ten sixes in this innings for Rohit Sharma. And the only other man to have hit ten sixes in a one-day international is the non-striker. Who's watching it at well? He's dealing in sixes at the moment. That is a record for India in one-day internationals. Eleven sixes now for Rohit Sharma. Inside out, over backward point. Not a boundary here. And a great start to the over. Six, now a four. That's a full toss. Lands on the top tier. Sixteen of the over already. Two balls to go. And this is the second six of the over. He's finding the spots, and he's picking it. Oh, beautifully played. Look at that bottom hand. He's got six for that. Would you believe it? It was wide outside the off stump. He had to reach out for it. Just managed to get his back there. And that bottom hand sent the ball away over the point boundary. Oh, the helicopter is out. It's gone miles in the air and way back into the crowd. Well, the captain producing something special. Have a look at the bat speed here. Wow, out of the park. The helicopter shot. There it is. Oh, the chopper. And Sharma. Goes into the crowd again. These are some big sixes being hit. It's a low full toss. And it's banged over the head of mid-off. Another over starts with a six. The spectators better watch out here. Keep your eyes on the ball. Well, I think they need helmets in the crowd. Because of the way the ball's travelling at them. Look at that, this is massive. Oh, beautifully played. Now that's class. Oh, 
<laughs> neatly placed on the offside. 50 for the Indian captain. And another boundary to end the over. 17 off it. 362 for four. He goes inside out. And what a way to bring up 200 in One Day Internationals. They call him Hitman. And he's arrived to the party. An outstanding double hundred for Rohit Sharma. The second hundred coming in just 42 balls. He's equaled the record of uh, Shane Watson of 15 sixes in a one, one day innings. What an innings this has been. What a knock this has been. And again, he's just picking his spot in the crowd. 16 sixes now in this innings. That's a world record in one day internationals. And my word, they're throwing the kitchen sink now at everything. Balls disappearing everywhere. Flicked away, he'll find the fielder. Yes, taken this time in the deep. So magnificent innings from Rohit Sharma comes to an end. Enrique is uh, the substitute, diving forward. He wasn't quite able to get uh, enough of bat on this. But what an innings this has been from Rohit Sharma. Magnificent stuff. Shots all round the park. Even the Australians walking down to congratulate him because they know that they've uh, been at the receiving end of something very, very special. Cramped him for room. Therefore, you can see not able to free his arms. Still, he got enough on it, but not quite out the middle. So, Enrique is taking that catch low down. And a terrific innings comes to an end. 209 to him. 374 for five in the 50th over. And that's smashed straight back. The bowler has to take cover. So does the umpire. That went like a tracer bullet. That was hit so, so hard by uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. That's four ball. He's just anticipating where the bowler is going to bowl. Just got the feeling he expected the short ball. Finds the fielder in the deep, will get uh, a single. He used to come back for the second uh, and will be run out. So he's sacrificing his wicket in the end, uh, looking for that extra run. But it's been a magnificent performance by the Indians. After 50 overs, they've scored 383 for five. And uh, the Indian captain departing uh, after playing his hand. An ex excellent 62 of just 38. So India making 383 for six from their 50 overs. Wonderful innings, fabulous hitting, 383 for six from their 50 overs for India, 19 sixes in the innings, and 16 of those belong to Rohit Sharma. That's the most by an individual in one day international cricket. He went past a thousand runs in the calendar year in one dayers, and he became the third man to score 200 in this form of the game. 62 for Mahendra Singh Dhoni. I know Sharma hit 16 sixes, but that helicopter shot of Dhoni's, wow. So, no Mitchell Johnson for Australia. And straight away, in the gap. It's a quick outfield. Did all the hard work and then lapped it over. So, good start for Australia. Uh, up goes the finger, the first wicket. Now, was that right? You could see a couple of stumps maybe on the back foot and therefore the verdict. Two people gave that out. Nigel Long and Saurav Ganguly. That looked plump. I don't think there is any doubt in it. That's out. And a good decision by Nigel Long. India strike. Australia lose their first wicket. Aaron Finch stores over. He's dismissed for five. Australia seven for one. Yes, he's connected on that one. And uh, that's enough to send the ball over the ropes. He's connected that too. That's a much better shot. 
It's not the easiest to play. Hey, how well has he hit that? Easy runs on the pads. Now there is a leg slip in position and a deep square leg. So easy runs. Worked away nicely. It's a very fast outfield. And once again, Bhuvnesh Kumar straying onto the pads of Phil Hughes. That boundary also brings up the 50 for Australia. Doesn't always. Oh, what a shot. This is a very, very good shot. It's going to be a boundary. 10 coming off the over. Brad hadn't taken his chances. He's been sent up the order for that. 56 for one. Two fielders in the deep, but it's in the gap. One bounce for. Great shot this. He's taken a wicket of the first ball. And I don't know what happened, but only he's fallen back. But Phil Hughes flicks a half volley to mid wicket and a wicket of the first ball for Ravi Chandan Ashwin. It's a very good start for Ashwin. There's no better feeling as a bowler when you pick up a wicket of the first ball. On the pads, the ball man coming into play, so the ball was in the air, and Yuvraj Singh doesn't miss too many catches. Delight for Ashwin. Wicket number eight in the series, Hughes. Got off to a bit of a start. He's gone for 23. It's 64 for two. Oh! Did it pitch in line is the question. Big, big appeal. Ashwin was optimistic. From that angle, you'll have to see. It pitched in line. But it didn't turn enough. Again, finding the fielder in the deep. He's got a good arm, Yuvraj Singh. Oh, this could be trouble. He cannot believe it. George Bailey. He is gutted. He was looking behind to make sure that uh, Haddon got uh, to the crease. And good presence of mind by the bowler. Vinay Kumar. Have a look at this. Well, I just do not understand what he would do here. I mean, he was just for all money worried about his partner, and then he's gone, my goodness, I'm out of... Completely the most absurd thing I've seen in cricket. Oh, Another one bites the dust. Well, Dhoni has asked... Uh, not too sure, There's, uh, the Indians are celebrating. Now, I think uh, what's happened here is, uh, I think the ball's hit the stumps. Dhoni's not sure whether his glove hit the stumps as well. He's bowled him. Mm, there's no question. I, I wonder why uh, Dhoni was uh, telling the Empire to take another look. That's clear cut. There was a sound. Uh, the Indians were confident. The ball had hit the off stump. And Ashwin being rewarded uh, for some very good bowling here. He mentioned he was bowling at a very good pace. Haddon now departs for 40 in Australia, reeling at the moment. 74 for four. Oh, oh that's big. <laughs> Maxwell first ball. Puts it into the crowd. Much needed this for Australia. 80 for four. Holes again, he'll uh, get only a single. In fact, we'll get uh, four. He's uh, losing balance there, Yuvraj conceding the boundary. Swings, gets four more. It's an all out attack now from young Glenn Maxwell. That's massive. That's as good a shot as any we've seen today. We've seen a flurry of sixes, but that's a beauty. Already on 22 of just five balls. Well, hold the phone. Hold the phone. This is a fantastic strike. Again, short, down leg sides, small boundaries, and Maxwell pouncing on that mistake, putting it straight up into the upper decks of this pavilion. 17 off this over. Just what Australia needed. 
He goes again. High in the air. And into the crowd once again. This is a biggie. 23 runs of the over. 103 for four. Beautifully struck. The death touches. A little bit of width. Maxwell races on to 40 off just 12 deliveries. Oh, that's well played. Let's put that into the crowd. It stays hit when he strikes the ball. 50 partnership in just 24 balls. How about that? That is another six. It goes over extra and it equals the Australian record for the fastest ODI. His name goes alongside Simon O'Donnell. That's a brilliant, belligerent half century from Maxwell. Oh, look at that. He's destroyed Verge's stumps. Mohamed Shami struck again. That's a brilliant piece of bowling. Yeah, you can dance. Burgess on the way back. Did the ball nip back in? Did it keep low? Because uh, Burgess is a tall man. He's got this great ability to get the ball to nip back in. I think he's probably beaten him for pace. He's played across the line as well, trying to work the ball away towards square leg. Missed it completely. The next time has gone uh, for a ride. And it's 132 for five. Burgess out for four. Maxwell goes again. This is incredible. Smash hitting from Maxwell. Uh, when I come out, continues to bowl the length that the batsmen want. Just short of a good length. And uh, that is what uh, Maxwell is looking for because he's throwing his bat at just about everything. He knows that the uh, asking rate is almost nine. Yes, what a shot. There it is on the uh, shot of a length area around the off stump. Nice, easy swing. There it is. Nice, easy swing. Smack bang of the middle of the bat. Oh, nice. Could have made a sweet sound as well. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. <laughs> Maxwell, 60 from 21. That reflects in a strike rate of 285. Here goes Vinay Kumar. Oh, he's gone big again. Has he got enough on it? There's a man underneath it. Jadeja takes the catch. Maxwell's got to go. It was brilliant while it lasted. It was wonderful to watch. But it had to end, and good things sometimes come to a short end. Banging the ball in short. Didn't get up high as much as Vinay Kumar would have wanted. But because Maxwell was on the front foot and not on the back foot, he wasn't quite able to control it. He's out. The sky are taken well by Jaria. 138 for six. It's just a little bit of tension under the surface here. A couple of things said here and there. It just adds to the occasion. He's trying to sort of, you know, mimic, mimic uh, the fact that Watson's got injured. You know, that did look like uh, wasn't in the best uh, taste. But anyway, it's come and gone. Now uh, it's uh, there's a lot going on here. Shikatawan and Shane Watson. Question is, who started it? Who started it? That is a question. Now we the all... umpires are getting involved here. Yeah, and we all... And uh, so, it, this, is, this is never a one-way street, let me tell you that. Never a one-way. And that's why it should never begin in the first place. Watson heaves him over mid-wicket for six. Bit of contempt in that shot from Shane Watson. 150 up for Australia. Watson gets it through extra this time. Four. Smashed away by Watson. You know, Watson's on a mission as well. He's uh, picking up where Maxwell left off. 
Wow, what a sight! Is this going second tier? <laughs> Watson is making a statement. Here's another one. It's flatter this time, but it's the same result. Six more. There's another one. Here she goes. 22 off the over. Watson is wrecking Kumar. It's 177 for six from 25. Smash straight back, and that's gone at such a rate of knots. No chance for the fielder. It's four, and it's 50 partnership. Yes! Hit very hard. Six from that over from Ashwin. 190 for six from 27. The Faulkner's gone big. And it's gone the distance as well. 32 sixes in this match. Sit it hard, it's out of here. Boy, is he striking them big or what? It's flat, it's gone. 200 comes up for Australia. That's the quicker delivery. They are peeling, and up goes the finger. Well, well, well. Shadeja into the attack, and he's picked up a wicket. And a very important wicket for Watson. Where did that come from? Looked as though it bounced somewhere. Well, I've got no clue at all what it's happened here. You see, there's lots of words. I think it's gone off the top of his knee. Oh, my goodness me. When it's not your night, it's not your night. One thing that has to happen, though, is that Shane Watson has to depart the ground. Sprightly innings, 49. Australia, 205 for seven. It's in the air, deep mid-wicket. Oh, he's put it down. Mohamed Shami, the fielder in the deep, was a simple catch. But I think he had his mind on the rope. He was very close to the boundary line, and he didn't get into a good position. He pushed it through a little flatter, didn't bounce. He's looking for the big one. A long off, Virat Kohli takes a simple catch. Australia lose yet another wicket. He's safe as a house, and he's quiet for the moment. The man to go was Nathan Kutanayan, and Jadeja gets the wicket, his second. Well, he's tried for the big one, had the length, but safely taken. Oh, the joy, the elation. He's got to go, Kutanayan dismissed. Just three, Australia now, 211 for eight. Chadija now. This flat is gone. Dealing in sixes here. Faulkner it is. His second six. This is a tremendous blow. Even though Australia is getting absolutely pummeled here, I tell you what, we're still seeing a constant flow of sixes. 34 sixes in this match. He's dropped him. That was coming back like a tracer bullet again. He's not dying wondering here one bit, James Faulkner. He's fired up. Oh, that is absolutely smashed out of the ground. James Faulkner is just having a feast of sixes here. It's a buffet of sixes today. 35 in the match so far. Some good clean striking. And here's another one. Crunch. Someone said catch it. He must have been joking. It's raced away to the boundary. It's gone fine. It'll be four. Just providing too much width and was quicker through the air at 93 k's. 
He's got a piece of this as well. Rohit Sharma takes a heroic dive to his right, but it just doesn't stick. Straight off the bat, for all money, it looked like it was going to be a, a six. A very nice attempt, though. Fantastic effort from Rohit Sharma in the deep. Struck nicely by James Faulkner. Look at this. He was close to the boundary line. And it would have been a definite six. That'll be 50. A very good half century from Faulkner. 15 runs of the over. 33 overs bold. 240 for eight. There'll be four more. Low full toss. No protection in the deep on the offside, apart from long off. And he's worked it nicely, opening the face of the bat. This time through the offside, and that'll be another boundary. Using his feet and opening up the offside. Change in era, that'll go for 4-2. We might as well put 4 in the book. 50 of the partnership comes up in uh, 27 balls oh that's gone for 4-2 how hard did he hit it because i'll tell you the gap between the two fielders there wasn't very large and they are two of india's best fielders yep. that'll go for four as well it's just not uh, vinay kumar's day today one for 89 now Now that's not going to a four again, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. A three fours to start off with for Vinay Kumar. He's had some good performances over the years, but this one is the most expensive by an Indian bowler in limited overs internationals. Now that'll go the distance to just about. Now, in the Australian camp, I just wonder if they're thinking, hang on, can this can this go on a little longer here? He's 96 from 54, they need 94 from 74. I just wonder if that's a joke. Let's go on a little longer. And he gets there. Well played, James Faulkner. The fastest century by an Australian batsman in limited overs internationals. 100 from 57. And he's done wonderfully well. It's an amazing knock, an amazing fight back. Just shows the character of the man. Now Makai in it as well. On this outfield, that's going to beat Shikhar Dhawan into the boundary. First four for Clint Makai, Australia 86 from 69. Through the gap on the offside. I think he's just gone six inches longer looking for the Yorker. Now 81 from 62, Australia are alive here. That's in the gap as well, before more. Made the adjustment very late and gets into a good position. Marginally back of a length. And Makai has put it away. And he's joining the party as well. He's hit it clean again. He's making it look so simple. Well, I tell you, he has hit this as clean as a whistle. And he's been do doing so for all 61 deliveries that he's faced. Seen length pretty much every time tonight hit for six. Oh, yeah! And he's knocked him over. Just a hint of turn. He's knocked back the off peg of Clint Mackay. That was a superb delivery. Quicker through the air at 94 Ks. And just a little bit of deviation to go past the defense of Clint Mackay. With the intent here, really revealed everything. Just trying to force this down the ground. Just a fraction of turn. Jadeja, ecstatic. He knows how important that partnership, the break, was. Clint McKay dismissed for 18, Australia now 326 for 9. Now Fielder's coming underneath it, 
Is he there? Yes, he is! Shik Shikardawan has finished it. And a wonderfully brave and courageous innings from James Faulkner comes to an end. And you can see how worried the Indians were as they all congregate around Shikhar Dhawan. Now, gentlemen, go back and shake hands with James Faulkner. 116 from 73 balls. It's a memorable innings from the young Australian. And there will be agony on his face, but he'll realize that it was him alone that uh, brought Australia that close. Well, you can see from the celebrations by India and MS Dhoni that that got all a little bit tight in the end. Brilliant from Faulkner, and you've got a feel for him as well. His maiden one-day international 100, the fastest ever by an Aussie in this form of the game. 116 off 73 balls, and he ends up on the losing side. A credit, too, to Glenn Maxwell, who got the innings going, and, of course, to Shane Watson, who on one leg smashed 49 off 22. But India were worried when Mackay and Faulkner were adding 115 for the ninth wicket. Three for 52 for Shami, the outstanding bowler. Two for Ashwin, back to better form for him. And three for 73 for Ravi Jadeja. But I'm afraid Vinay Kumar had a day to forget, albeit in difficult conditions for the bowlers. So India winning by 57 runs and taking the series 3-2. So just to confirm the final series, uh, of course India won the T20 International that started things off by six wickets. We've seen some fabulous run chases, some extraordinary hitting throughout this series.